Hello guys, today we'll be taking a look at the evolution of Clash Royale. The best mobile games balance depth and simplicity. You can pick them up and in a few minutes you know pretty much what is going on, but after an hour or so you realize there's a lot more than you thought. Clash Royale felt like a case of right game, right time. It was not just a game, but a positional play that established Supercell's place at the forefront of the competitive gaming sector. However, following revelations of Supercell CEO, whom I cannot name, Game Lecture, it appears that the true stroke of genius behind Clash Royale was in rejecting the idea several years earlier. He explained that Clash Royale was heavily based upon an internal prototype called the Summoners, which was actually developed before the launch of 2012 genre defeating hit Clash of Clans. That's a, that's a fantastic question and there's a really great story about this. So most people don't know that actually Clash Royale, like early on, was inspired by this internal prototype. I think it, they call it the Summoners. It was developed by a, a guy who's still with us, a guy called John Francis at the time, and, and uh, he developed that prototype before Clash of Clans came out. Uh, and and, uh, and that, that, at that time, I, I still remember this discussion, like somebody, it was probably me, said in the room, that, yeah, you know, this real-time uh, PvP, it won't ever work, so <laughs> let's, just, let's just forget this. And, and, uh, and, and so, and, and, you know, it didn't get sort of, full, I mean, and, and then like, Clash came out, Heyday came out, you know, they were so busy with everything that they have had, had on, in our hands, so we didn't do, do anything that prototype. But then, like, many years later, like, two of the founders, a guy called uh, Nico and, and, and Visa, they, they kind of, like, they, they took this prototype and used it as an inspiration, and then they developed something that the code name I think was Scroll. And, and, and again, as I, as I just told you, like, uh, like the, the first versions, like most people just wanted to kill the, the, the prototype, and again, you know, not so much excitement. But then, like. <laughs> Supercell launches card battling Clash of Clans MOBA Clash Royale. The game's all about sending units down lanes to take out your opponent's towers and topple their king, which also has an extensive card collection element where you build a battle deck to take into the fight. The game was released with lots of new characters, including the princess, knights and baby dragons, original to the game but plenty of familiar faces from the world of Clash. The game was soft launch on iOS in New Zealand, Canada, Australia, Hong Kong, Finland, Sweden, Denmark, Norway and Iceland. Each player is going to have two crown towers as well as a king. The objective is to take more crowns than your opponent by destroying their towers, but if you take out your opponent's king, you instantly win. So let's go ahead and try to take out our opponent's first crown tower by starting off with deploying our knight. So he's gonna make his way down the lane. He did cost me three elixir, but elixir will continually replenish throughout the battle. I'm gonna follow up with some archers and some goblins to see if I can deal a little bit of damage. Of course, your opponent can respond. He's placed a goblin hut next to one of his towers. A new update containing new units, maps, and more. On top of a new arena, you now have the added ability to create multiple battle decks, meaning that you'll be able to switch your cards at a much quicker pace. Finally, legendary cards can be found in any chest, but super magical chests still have the highest chance of containing a legendary card. The Poison Spell. And yes, it looks like it stepped straight out of Clash of Clans, very similar in appearance and function. Dark 
prince. And just like the regular prince, he comes in on horseback, so he has that charge ability. We've got the Ice Wizard, the first of the legendary cards. Even the shape of his card sets him apart. You really know he is truly special. And he only costs three elixir. Second of March 2016, Clash Royale is out worldwide. On March 2016, Clash Royale was released worldwide for everyone to poke, prod, break, and enjoy a unique Welcome experience. Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Chief Pat. Today, we're going to be announcing the global launch of Clash Royale on both iOS and Android. That's right. Today, on March 2nd, they finally announced that Clash Royale is going to be global. We're not going to have to wait until March 31st, which would have been pretty agonizing. The game is now global. It is available on both app stores around the world, so if you guys want to play if you're sick of watching me play inside of videos it is your time to shine on the 2nd of March okay so in this part going to quickly cover the changes that occurred in uh, Clash Royale from March 2016 to March 20 2018 so we can jump to the good stuff Clash Royale is doubling down its crown chest rewards in the next patch Clash Royale is getting another balance patch and the free spell and the royal giant are getting nerfed. Latest balance changes are out, Hog Rider nerfed, which buffed again. Supercell has pulled an about turn and added a mute emote option in Clash Royale. The latest Clash Royale update sees League, Clan Battles and much more. Retro Royale from March to, a to April. Clash Royale launches Prince Card Challenge. Clash Royale upcoming balance update tweaks Nightwatch, Battle Ram and Electro Wizard. Clash Royale gets a new card, big balance changes and a new arena. Second of March 2018, celebrate Clash Royale's second birthday in style. Since the game launch Clash Royale has gone to become the mobile collectible card game with dozens of Clash Royale likes sprouting up like weeds on the App Store. Clan Wars has just arrived in Clash Royale. That means it's time to say goodbye to the clan chest and hello to the sweet sweet teamwork harvested victory. Clan Wars takes place over the course of 2 days. You need 10 members to take part and need to be king level 8 or higher. The first day of Clan War is all about collecting cards your team will end up using on day 2. After you have completed collection day, you'll move on to work day. On this day, you'll have one attack or battle, so you want to make it count. 
we're going to be hopping into our very first clan war inside of Clash Royale. And inside of this video, I'm going to be giving you guys every single thing you need to know about the new update. That's right. Clan Wars is finally here. It just came out 30 minutes ago. If you look at the top left hand corner, let's go down. Let's see if we can pick up this one, guys. Uh, he has got archers going down right now. Ice Golem coming in. We'll go ahead and get our Ice Wizard going down this lane to really start things off. We've got 50 damage so far. Hopefully that means that we're winning. No, I don't really think that's that means that we're winning, guys. And now we've got a graveyard going down the lane, and I think we lose. I think we're in a lot of trouble right now. Dark Prince going to go in. Clash Royale latest balanced update. On November 5th, 2018, Clash Royale was hit with a big balance. Royal Ghost, Royal Hogs, Giant, Magic Archer, Cannon Cart, Tombstone got nerfed, and Inferno Tower, Skeleton Barrel and, and Mecha Knight got buffed. The feedback from the community has been mostly positive regarding the changes, though a few folks weren't too happy about Dart Goblin getting buffed and a couple other bits. <laughs> First of July 2019 Season 1 The Flood A flooded arena proves to be a great battleground. Only air troops are allowed in this game mode. A mighty tide has swept through the royal world, bringing in a new arena, new cards and new features, the biggest of which is Pass Royale. Pass Royale unlocks rewards and instant perks that include a unique tower skin and emote, automatic chest unlocking, unlimited special challenge entries and much more. With the introduction of Pass Royale, Crown Chests have been reworked. Crown Chests are now earned in the three tiers of Pass Royale. Each tier contains a Crown Chest. Every 24 hours, one tier will unlock. Pass Royale is a new way for you to get more rewards for what you already do. Pass Royale is going to start with Season 1 and continue with a new Pass Royale every month. Here's how it works. It starts off with a Crown Chest change. You will no longer be limited to only having two Crown Chests at a time. Every day, a new crown chest will unlock and players can save up as many of them as they want throughout the month. For Pass Royale players, there will be an additional reward with every crown chest you claim, meaning that you can get really cool exclusive rewards like tower skins, emotes, and more. And we've replaced the final crown chest of every month with a legendary chest. So you know what that means. Season 2 brought a new shipwrecked arena with new summer vibes and more balance changes. Season 3 brought a new legendary arena along new balance changes. The flood has ended and the royal kingdom has returned to a sense of normality. Or has it? Let the legendary arena battle commence. Clash Royale Season 4 Shocktober Season 4 brought a new arena and a new card, the Elixir Golem, along with more balance changes. A meteor has crashed into the legendary arena, unleashing the Elixir Golem and creating a unique spooky setting for Season 4. The Elixir Golem has been unleashed this Shocktober season. It is a brand new building targeting 3 cost rare card that will be available to unlock in Spooky Town. 
Season 4 kicks off when a meteor crashes into the legendary arena. This meteor contains so much elixir, it begins to overflow the river, overflow the legendary cups. Elixir everywhere! This is the brand new Shocktober arena coming to Season 4. It's our spookiest arena yet. Clashmas. Season 6 brought more balance changes and a new card, the Battle Healer. This new rare card costs Fall Elixir, heals friendly troops when she's attacking and heals herself passively when she isn't attacking. about the newest card coming to the arena in Season 7. Yes, she is called the Firecracker. Here's some cool gameplay. Let's get into it. <laughs> Firecracker is the newest card that will be coming out in Season 7. Firecracker is a three-cost common. She shoots her firework out of her homemade bazooka. Yeah. And when it hits the first target, it deals a lot of damage to them, but explodes in a, uh, almost like a cone shape. Yeah, and hits units behind the mm -hmm. target. The first version was actually called Rocketeer. She was a little more military, a little more- Musketeer. -y. Yeah, more like musketeer-ish, and had a multi-rocket. She didn't really hit what you wanted her to hit, and so we came with the idea of, hey, how about when she hits something, she fires a hunter projectile, like the shotgun. Mm. And that was kind of inspired by Penny from Brawl Stars. Penny shoots her little coin purse yeah, thing yeah, from her cannon. Yeah. Coins, yeah. yeah, and it hits other brawlers behind. So we were like, hey, let's take that idea and steal it. Yeah. <laughs> Clash Royale 4th Birthday By now it's been 4 years since Clash Royale was released globally on, on 2nd of March 2016. Along with Season 9 came a new card, the Royal Delivery. Welcome back Clash Royale players from around the world, I'm Seth. I'm Drew. Clash Royale is 4 years old on the 2nd of March, which is also the date that Season 9 kicks off, so we are making the entire season about our birthday. And what would a birthday be without a cake? We've got birthday cake emotes, birthday cake tower skin, birthday cake arena. We're getting a birthday cake? We can't, the Just budgets, you know. Keep it royale. We have a gift from the king himself in the form of a brand uh -oh. new card, the Royal Delivery. You may have seen the teaser on social media already and you're just wondering, what does this card do? Yes. Royal Delivery is a three cost common spell. It originally started as a card called Bone Bomb. When it blew up, two guards would pop out. 
And then over time, we really like the idea of something a little bit sturdier than the guards, and what better than a royal recruit? Yes. So we re-envisioned it from more of a skeleton, death bomb kind of thing, yes. to a package signed, sealed, and delivered by the king himself. The Heist In Season 10 you can join the Forest Gang on their quest to steal the Red King's gold. Before season 10 begins, we are going to do something we have never done before. We are removing Heal Spell from the game. Now this is some really big news, but don't worry, we will be replacing it with a brand new card. Heal Spirit. Heal Spirit is our first spirit since 2016. Like Ice Spirit, same health, same damage, runs, jumps, the whole deal. The difference, Heal Spirit will leave behind a big healing area effect. The healing that Heal Spirit does is way more powerful than the old Heal Spell. Thank you for watching this video. I've been reading Crime and Punishment recently, and if you don't like, comment and share this video. I will come with the next and kill you.